Following their company's procedures, the members of this crew begin by inspecting their rubber gloves and sleeves. The leather glove cover is removed from one glove and the surface of the rubber is carefully inspected for damage. Special attention is paid to the area between the fingers and the palm of the glove. These areas normally receive more wear and tear than others. If there is no apparent damage, the cuff of the glove is held together and the glove is flipped over so that air is trapped inside. This inflates the glove and makes it easier to find small cuts and punctures. The inflated glove is visually checked again. When he's finished with the glove, the crewman inspects the leather glove cover for signs of cuts, tears, or loose stitching. Any weak spots in the glove cover could allow the rubber glove to become damaged or contaminated. Then the crewman replaces the glove cover on the glove and proceeds to inspect the other glove and cover. The rubber sleeves are visually checked. As he inspects the sleeves, the crewman stretches the rubber and examines the surface for any signs of punctures, cracks, or rotting. Special attention is paid to the elbows. The rubber in the elbows is flexed more and is more likely to develop cracks. Many jobs that are gloved will require the use of line hose, hoods, and rubber blankets. The crew will inspect each piece that they will use. The protective line gear is stored in special compartments on the truck so that it is safely away from tools, sharp objects, chemicals, and solvents that might damage it. Each section of line hose that will be used is visually inspected for surface damage and contamination. Typical signs of damage include cuts, abrasions, punctures, burns, and embedded material. All surfaces should be clean. Contaminants such as dirt, oil, and grease on the protective gear can cause current to track across the surface. After the outside of a section of line hose has been inspected, the line hose is peeled open and the inside surface is checked for damage. After each section is inspected, it is placed on the tarp.